Hello everyone and welcome back to Revy Snippets, great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's video is brought to you by Cat File Explorer, the easiest way to see, manage and clean up AutoCAD files in Revit. Get your free copy today by following the link in this video description. It's a nice and quick one today. We will see how to unlock and disable these revision on sheets that appear to be grayed out like this. It can be quite frustrating when you realize you can add new revisions like this. But when you go back to revision on sheet, it's impossible to untick these two boxes because they are locked down for some reasons. Well, I'll show you now exactly how to unlock them. It's super easy once you know how. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, the first step in unlocking those revisions is to remember their sequence number. For example, if I go to this line here, line number 3, I can see this revision is called revision 3 and the sequence number is just before that, sequence number 3. Similarly, if I go down to this other one that is now locked, sequence number 5 is for revision number 5. Now, this revision happens to have the same number in its name and in this sequence. But keep in mind, your revision may be a bit different. Maybe for you it's going to say sequence number 5 and the name can be the first issue or the second issue and so on. So the key thing to take from here is not the name but the sequence number at the beginning. Alright, so now we have number 3 and number 5. Let's close this window and then go to view, select revisions here and now find the same revisions under the same sequence. So we have here sequence number 3 there, that's revision number 3, one of the two that are grayed out. Once you have found it, go to the show column here and make sure to set this to show cloud and tag. The same thing needs to be done for the other grayed out revision. Sequence number 5 here, select it. Go to show and turn on its cloud and tag. Click OK to confirm. Here, in case you haven't noticed, something on our drawing here has changed. As it's showing here, I have now these two revision clouds visible. If I, for example, undo what I did there, watch this closely, you will see them disappear. And I did. So, by turning on cloud and tag for these two revision sequences, like this, I can now see all the revision clouds that are associated with revision sequence number 3 and number 5. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. When I try to select them, I cannot because they are in this view. I need to firstly select the view, right click and choose activate. Now when I'm inside the view, I can click on this revision cloud there and check under properties. As you can see, this one is tied to revision sequence number 3. To unlock or ungrade this revision sequence, we need to either delete this revision cloud there or change it to another sequence. Let's say I want to change it, I can go to revision there, select the drop down menu and maybe change it to another revision sequence, for example sequence number 1. Well, in this case I cannot because revision 1 is already issued. What does it mean if I go back to view, choose revisions again? As you can see, for revision 1 there, the issue box is selected. That means it has been issued, which is why we cannot add new revision clouds to it. That's fine, I can now select this one again. And instead of choosing revision sequence number 1, let's pick one for revision sequence 2. As soon as I have done that, this cloud disappeared. That's because if I go to view again and choose revisions, all the clouds and tags for revision number 2 is not showing. If I want to show them again, I need to choose from here, show cloud and tag. OK to confirm that. And now this cloud has reappeared and it's obviously is now tied to revision number 2. With that done, I can now deactivate the view. And this time, when I go to sheet properties and choose revisions on sheet, the box for revision 3 is now unlocked. It's no longer grayed out. So I can untake it to exclude this revision from this drawing. So that's one way to fix it. The second way is useful when you don't have to keep or retain these revision clouds. So if I now right click on the view again and open it from here. Instead of trying to change the two revision clouds so that they are associated with a different revision, I can simply select them like this and press delete. This time when I deactivate the view 
and check revision on sheet again. As you can see now, all the revision boxes are now enabled. Not a single one of them is grayed out anymore. So I can now be free to even untick everything here if I want to. Or go back there and only select the ones that I need for this drawing. Very nice. Keep in mind though, sometimes those revision clouds, they are not in the view. They can live directly on the drawing sheet. For example, let me show you if I go to annotate and choose revision cloud. Let's say I was one of my colleagues who wanted to draw a cloud here for this particular drawing. I could just do it like this, draw a cloud there, under property, select a revision for it. This time, let's say I want this to be revision 2 and press finish. When I now go to revision on sheet, I can see immediately that revision 2 has been automatically added to my drawing and the box for enabling or disabling it has been grayed out and locked. That's how it works. When you see this box here in gray, you need to find one or several revision clouds that are connected to this revision and either change them to use another revision sequence or simply just delete them. Select, press delete, and now it's no longer locked or grayed out. Okay, if you enjoyed this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, enjoy learning Revit with RV Boost, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.